think so. I think the big thing, to, I mean, you can usually hire someone to have a one-on-one -on -one breastfeeding class if you have a lot of questions or you have concerns or you have a history. I mean, some people want to say, you know, I was yeah. abused as a child. I have issues. I want to talk about what I could do to kind of get, you know, so sometimes those kinds of things. I mean, all lactation consultants that sit for their boards have to go through um, schooling and psychology, sociology, all different pieces because this is a big part of what we deal about. We're talking about someone's, you know, um, private and kind of the way that we were um, brought up with our, our breasts are going to be different than I think how our kids and how our future generations are going to look. So some, there's a lot of those pieces and components that need to fall into place. So, But other than that, I would say if you take your prenatal education classes, that's probably all you need leading up. Um, and then, you know, after that, I would say, you know, making sure you're seeing somebody. And, you know, sometimes you walk out of the hospital and it's great. And yeah. probably here, there's there's great lactation consultants here. And you'll get, you know, hopefully everything you need for the tools you go home. But the thing is, is often when you go home, even if everything's great, your milk's not usually coming in in the hospital. You're not, you know, so th there's things that come ahead that unfortunately you have to have your support systems set up for after. Like she was talking about, like support groups and things like that need to be lined up for you to have resources in your area. And when you're here, you're going to get a list of those resources. So that's it's just so much better to have all these tools ready to go. And if you don't need them, you're just like, Shh, that is way ahead of that. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. All I needed was my Facebook friends. Yep. And that was good. <laughs>